show up. A squatting lady. My name is Judith Schechter and I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Well, if I were to describe what I think other people see in my work, it's a sort of agonized figure against a highly decorative background. I don't see them as being particularly negative, but I do understand that one of the main things art can do is make unpleasant, difficult subjects easier to digest, like a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down kind of thing. When I was young, my father used to take me to the Boston Museum of Fine Arts all the time. And one of the paintings that was most striking to me was the martyrdom of St. Hippolyte. He was torn apart by four horses. And I was really young when I saw this painting, and it horrified me. I would look at it like, you know, through my fingers. I, I could barely stand to look at it. And when I think back onto my early experiences with art, I believe that was the moment I understood that art could have a powerful transformative effect. And what I wanted to do was make bad things good. So by taking negative subject matter and making it beautiful, in my mind, that makes it something that's better now. It's a little primitive, but that's how I am. When I went to art school, I was introduced to the idea that art didn't have to be beautiful. And I think that really confused me and maybe some of other people because I wanted to make things that were beautiful. But I didn't want them to just be superficially beautiful. I wanted them to be sort of deeply beautiful. And I guess that's where the idea of transformation comes in. So you, you can't just have pretty things be pretty. When everything's going okay, you don't need any help. You can go out and frolic in a field of daisies. But when you're in trouble, you need something to help you understand your feelings better. And I think that is one of the roles art can play. This is girls having a fight. <laughs> At the Museum of Glass, we're gonna do some test projects that are three-dimensional, some um, vessel forms. They're a little bit wonky. Oh yeah, do it. That's it. Oh yeah, I like that. And I was particularly interested in having the vessel forms not be perfect, and in fact be sort of dented and deflated and kind of warped looking so that I could react to the surface and make, and sort of put some of my drawings on them. I brought a lot of drawings. And instead of being a control freak and trying to reproduce my drawings exactly, I would work with the warped surface to come up with um, sort of new distorted imagery. I know one thing. That's how to make a picture with a dentist stroke. I don't know anything else. Nothing else. We're also going to make some solid forms that are head shaped that I'm going to carve into and maybe make some sculptural work. So my goal is to have no expectations for the work I do here because it's experimental and I want to be surprised and I find that sometimes when I have high hopes for things, they tend to be disappointing. I want this to go where it wants to go organically without me trying to control the outcome too much. So we'll see.